In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement UI collection view to load uh, and display some images from your server-side PHP script. And I'll also sh show you how to implement uh, on click or on tab function, which will take user to a detailed image view like this. You, and if there are more images, a user will be able to scroll collection view up and down. And when they tap on one of the images, it will open up uh, in a detailed view. Okay, so I will start with the new um, uh, Xcode project, and that will be a single view application. I'll give my project a name, and I'll call it my collection view example. Language is Swift. Next, create. Okay, and I will go to main storyboard. Here I have only one uh, view controller, and I will uh, I'm going to use it. I will uh, resize it to iPhone four inch. You don't need to do it, uh, but I like to do it because I don't have uh, much screen, uh, much size, uh, much space on my screen. Okay, so I'm going to uh, look for uh collection view under uh, in my project library and there are two collection view controller and there is a collection view so i'm i'm looking for collection view and actually before i drag and drop it let me embed this uh, view controller into uh navigation controller so i'm going to editor embed navigation controller and i'll resize it to our iphone inch four inch bring this to uh, next to each other and uh, select navigation item and i will give it a title a list of images something like this okay now i'll uh, get my collection view and drag and drop it here i'll also uh, resize it a little bit in, or let it let it stay like this at this moment okay so we have a collection view and we have uh, one item on that collection view and this item is going to be our image so um to resize this image you can select collection view and then switch to size inspector and here we have cell size 50 by 50 so i can give it i can make it a bit larger like 100 by uh 100 and i will load my uh, picture into this cell well first of all um um, for this, uh, while we are in the interface design, let's uh, create um, a couple of connectors. So I will hold control button on my um, keyboard, click collection view, drag and drop into view controller here. And I will select data source. And I click on it again, select collection view, hold control button, click, drag and drop and select a delegate okay next select the uh, cell of the collection view switch to um attributes inspector and for the identifier give it uh, some some unique name for example my cell we're going to use it because we're going to dequeue this cell with this identifier and um we will actually make this cell let's make it a custom cell so that you can um create a custom design later uh, if you need to, for example, you might want to have an image and a label at the bottom. So uh, it's good uh, to be flexible. So I will uh, show you how to create a custom uh, cell right away. Uh, to create custom cell, we need to create a new uh, a new Swift class for this cell. So I will uh, go to my project, click uh, and select new file. And from the, uh, I will select the code touch class and uh, here from the subclass of i will look for ui collection um, view cell and i will call it my cell collection view cell or my collection view cell like this and um this is it clicks next and create okay so we have a custom class for our collection um, view cell now let's go back to main storyboard select the cell itself and uh, under the identity inspector for this cell let's type or paste the name of this custom class so that's going to be our cell custom cell 
Um, next, uh, let's uh, look for the image view uh, in our objects library, drag it and drop it to our custom cell. Okay. And what we also need to do now, we need to create an outlet for this uh, image view. So I will open up the document outline here by uh, on your main storyboard in the the bottom left corner, you have this button. Uh, open document outline, select the uh, cell, my cell, and open up identity, uh, open up uh, assistant editor. If your uh, view controller for the custom cell was not selected automatically, you can select it manually. So you can go to a manual project and then your project, and then you can find your cell from here. And now let's create an outlet for this uh, image view. So um, um, I click on the image view, drop and drop it here. And uh, let's give it a name, um, my image view, connect. Okay, now when outlet is created, we can reference to this image view and we can set uh, a different images uh, into it. Let's go back to our uh, view controller. And um, what I also like to do is to reset its constraints because when we change orientation, uh, our collection view might not adapt uh, nicely right away. So let's select collection view and we will um, click on this uh, resolve auto layout issues button and we will um, add missing constraints or we can use um, because the, the selected view now is collection view we can reset the suggested constraints from the collection view okay and uh, we are now almost yeah we are now ready to go and uh, write some swift code so i will uh, select view controller switch to automatic view controller and hide the left side panel here Okay, so for our um, collection view to load images and to react to users uh, when they tap on an image, we need to, to make our view controller to conform to a couple of protocols. And one of them is called uh, UI collection view data source. So I will uh, type it collection view um, dele delegate and UI collection view data source. Collection view data source. Uh, okay, so now if you um, let's implement that data source first. So if you hold if you hold command button on your keyboard and click on this um, uh, data source um, the protocol name, uh, it will take you to a protocol um, uh, to the functions that this protocol defines, and a couple of them are optional, but a couple of them are required. So we'll need to implement the required functions of this protocol, I will copy them. I'll go back to my uh, view controller and paste them here. So the first the first one uh, is called uh, collection view number of items in section. So it will uh, here we need to return an integer value, which will be um, how many uh, how many images or how many cells this collection view will uh, display. So um, because um, we do not have uh, any at this moment we can either return null or we we can actually create an array of images and let it be an empty array at this time we are going to populate it with images a bit later but we will return a count of these images uh, okay the next one is going to return a cell for index path uh, for a cell, a cell at index at path and here we will need to reference this cell and set an image to this cell and then uh, return that cell to a collection view. Um, so um, first of all, um, let's um, because our cell is a custom class and we've created uh, a custom class, it's called my collection view cell. So let's copy its name here so that we do not make a typo and then go back to our collection view and I'll paste it here. Okay, so um, um, I now need to create a cell and technically I'm going to dequeue it from our collection view so it's not created every time 
uh, for every single image. So I will create a new variable or it's going to be constant. Um, and um, that will be of type my collection cell. And I'm going to dequeue it from a collection view. So we have a variable here, collection view. And I'm going to dequeue it. Dequeue with um, dequeue reusable cell with reuse identifier. This one, the very first one. And uh, I remember when we uh, we created an identifier which is called my cell. We also do not want to make a typo here, so we can, uh, for example, go back to our um, let's go back to our cell here. Open up right side panel and look uh, look up what is the identifier to this cell. So collection reusable. Um, so we, we have my cell selected and identifier to, for this cell is my cell. Okay, and the index path is going to be index path as my collection view cell. Okay, now we have um, our custom uh, cell here and we can start, we can start uh, uh, editing it. And at the end, when everything is done, um, we can return this cell. Uh, let's build it and see if um, everything is okay. We do not have any compiled errors. Okay, so now let's um, implement the, uh, the, the next function, which is uh, for the uh, uh, delegate. So I'll do the same thing. I'll hold command button and I'll click on the protocol name and it will take me to the collection view delegate uh, protocol and there are many functions that I can implement and I'm looking for did select item at index path so somewhere here it's an optional I, I'm not required to implement it but if I want to um, handle uh, events when user taps on the image I need to implement this function and at this moment, uh, I will simply implement a um, print line to show which index path is tapped. So index path row, and let's actually add some string to it. We will tap user tapped on, and we will put it like this: user tapped on index on image number something like this okay so um the protocol functions are implemented and we can now start loading uh, up images from our server-side php script by the way if you hard code image names there here and then if you drag and drop them into your project you can load up images from your uh, app but most of the time we load images or data from the server side so i'm going to show you how to do that 